Welcome back, Fire, Earth, and Pisces, to your sharper reading for February. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. This reading is for Leo Virgo Cusp, Sag Cap Cusp, Aries Taurus Cusp, doing a collective energy reading. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you, getting down to the elements um, and seeing how they are affecting you and what you need to know um, to get these sharpers going, right? How to keep yourself balanced and manifest, do the things you need to do. Going straight over here, we have a despondence coming out. Um, really getting clear on your intuitions when it comes to despondence. How am I, you know, looking at things, right? Am I immobilized in my life? Am I willing to trust myself within the situation? Really getting into that intuition of yourself saying, look, this is where I can have the revelation of how I am moving, um, right? Am I encouraging myself enough? Love it. Okay. This card is really kind of teaching you that the only route out of stagnation is motion. If we do nothing, we must accept the consequences, right? If you're doing nothing, you're going to accept nothing, <laughs> right? Be, be willing to accept that nothing is coming. Um, so make sure that you are going and moving. And it feels like right now it's kind of like you're really starting to feel the successfulness around what you're doing, whatever it is, you know, whether it's love or work or whatever it is that you're passionate about. Um, just make sure that you're not looking at it from a different point of, am I stuck? Am I doing this? Is it going the right way? I uh, make sure that you are not taking any unnecessary risks at this time, right? Just make sure that you're still sticking to what has been successful for you in your profession or your love, right? Rather than taking, you know, a different route. Um, if it's not working 100, you know deep down inside what you need to do, right? But keep it moving for the balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. And really talking about the throat chakra over here with being creative, right? You know exactly what's working and what doesn't work, right? When we overthink the situation, then it gets us stuck, right? So don't do that. Go with your heart, go with what your compassion is and do what you know is right, okay? So this is kind of just telling you guys right now that where you are, you know where you're supposed to be. Don't question everything, right? Because you have the new beginning coming, wow. So with this new beginning coming in, it's talking about getting stable, right? Don't put all your eggs into one basket at one time, right? If your romantic life is, you know, a little bit on the edgy side, right? Remember your sensitivities with your compassion, right? Right, because you do have it moving on. And this is moving on, continuing to keep going with your manifestations. Keep going with what you know is right. If you, you know, feel like you are stuck, make sure that you are taking the time to listen to that gut feeling, right, which is your intuition. Um, you have the animal spirit over here, which is the Hawaiian owl, which is your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now. So pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So you might even be seeing signs of 111, 999, right? Maybe even 1010, which is telling you that's still breaking down to one, which is talking about the ending to a new beginning, starting a new beginning. So do not hesitate, right? So, right? Wait for the new beginning. You know where you're going. So for some of you, you might even have this nine, but you are going to be stuck in kind of the waiting game in its own way. It does not want you to wait. It wants you to wait for the new beginning, right? But where you're going, you need to keep what? Moving on. Okay, so you kind of have this like, wait for the new beginning to go, but make sure that you're still moving in the direction you need to go into, right? So getting a few cards over here, loving it. Watch for those signs and synchronicities coming out. Listen to that intuition. Don't overthink the situation. Let's clarify, please, on the balance, the owl, the new beginnings, and the wait. Wait. Here it comes. Yeah, because you might feel like there is some delays and standstills. 
um, right, or having the resistance to want to move forward, feeling like you are stuck. That's what it's saying. I'm feeling like I might be a little bit stuck over here. Um, I might have some indecisions that are kind of, you know, playing its role. Um, but you know what? Things will reach a balance. Okay. Some things might require a lot more attention than other things, but you know where you're supposed to go. Yeah, right now you have opportunities and reaching the decision is opportunities. Just because you have all these opportunities, just because you have seven cups doesn't mean all of them are good. <laughs> right, so now we have to think which ones are better, right? Which ones are the choices and which ones are illusions? Searching for the purpose, right? having the opportunities with the wishful thinking, but just because you have tons of door, uh, doors opening doesn't always mean that everything is the right choice. That's where the delay is coming from, right? And it's kind of like, well, okay, well, which one's beneficial and which one's not, right? For this new beginning. Um, but it's also saying you do have these new opportunities coming in. I would say that some are better than others. That's how I always see it, right? Some are better than, than others. You're going to have to really, yes, focus on which one is going to be for the long-term view. Which one am I going to really put in all the persistence and the hard work into? This is going to be the one that's going to sustain my vitality with a new beginning. Whether that's love, you know, the love life, whether that's, you know, the career. However, you know what your situation is. Everybody's situation is different, right? But you have the mental clarity coming through. So it says the more that you kind of think about the situation, the more that you, right, use that that mental thinking, that analytical thinking with your intuition, you will be able to have the breakthrough. You will see different from what the dream is versus what an illusion may be. If you think that, you know what, this may work, maybe, I don't know, I'll just keep moving in this direction, but you know deep down inside you're saying, but that never worked before, so I should probably just continue going to where I was before. Right, so you have to really kind of strike a balance within yourself on what you're trusting to keep that balance. Wow, yeah, because you do definitely have this opportunity um, that's coming and knocking to your door, whether it's this knight in shining armor, whether it's, you know, this beautiful job but it's definitely following your heart no matter what and as you're waiting for this new beginning to really take place it's going to allow you to follow your heart and you're going to know that's exactly what it is i really truly need for myself and this will speed up the process oh my gosh you guys right you're going to find that extra courage that extra confidence within yourself really focused and determined to get to what you want it's like you're already there, but you're kind of questioning all these things, um, right? But it, look, guys, if you know you're already, like, climbing the corporate ladder, then you know that, you know, and you're waiting for maybe, um, you know, this proposal of this opportunity to maybe, who knows what it is, get a better office or get more money, um, have a promotion, whatever it is, right? You, This is probably it. This is probably it, right? Don't question everything. Just allow it to flow. If you have new skills that you could actually use and acquiring to your own job, to your own stuff, go ahead and start using them. If you know that you've been using a skill in your own work or with your loved one, whatever those skills may be, um, you know it's working, so why would you want to stop, right? It's fulfilling, right? Continue with what you know is good. Absolutely. And this cuts out anything that doesn't fit, right? Anything that doesn't fit naturally. Anything that doesn't feel like it belongs, right? You will know. And this is where the discipline and truthfulness will really come through. Now, we also have that Saturn that's going to enter into the Pisces constellation, um, right? Which is a transit, which, you know, Saturn likes to tell the truth. So I wouldn't doubt that this is not going to come through and allow you to really see, right? Because the Saturn is really about karmic, right? So, and it loves to tell the truth. It's going to make you see through any illusions of things that don't work. It's going to make sure that you see them. It's going to allow you to see the truth of the overall situation. And I do feel like this is going to really start 
um, happening and opening up for you as it's really moving into that Pisces a constellation. Um, as it transits and sits there for three years, um, it's going to allow this. I'm doing that reading next, guys. You have to watch your regular signs. It goes on your regular sun sign and your rising only. Okay, that's where it's going to affect. And it's going to be done that way because of houses, right? It's going to enter into your each house. And everybody's house is a little different. Okay, so make sure you're going with your regular sun sign when you watch that video or your rising. Okay, because it can affect your rising and your sun. So, so you might, you know, have these two little houses that are kind of affecting um, more, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to affect your moon and your Venus, just the ascendant. Okay, so be sure to watch that because it's going to be very important that you understand why these things are happening, whether it's good karmic deeds or bad, because it's going to really wake you up to make you understand these things. That's what it does. Um, kind of like when uh, Pluto was in conjunction, right, with Uranus, it really made a lot of people jumpy, lose things, this, that, have to get rid of that, refigure things. So, same thing. Okay. Okay. So, let's get an overall card over here. And I want to get this up as much as possible because they, I want to get them up before it actually is sitting in Pisces. So that way you guys are aware of what the hell is going on. If it isn't hitting one house, it might be hitting the other, right? It's like, oh no, my rising. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Attracting, not chasing. That's kind of the same thing, right? So anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way. Because of the fears underlining chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. And that's really going to come up for that Saturn, too, I'm telling you. Um, okay. And we have, actually, I got a couple of cards here for you guys. Partnerships. If this has to do with a partnership, um, this is allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources, which is awesome because this is the lion owl is what your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now. So you're definitely on a journey of right now of guidance, um, abundant, abundance mindset. If you think of the abundance as something that will happen in your future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment, and that is what you will experience. Make sure that it's rational, realistic. Okay, don't ask for unicorns. They don't exist. Maybe they do in a parallel universe, but we don't know. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> okay, visualize abundance in all forms. If you don't, look guys, if you don't make a billion dollars, right, or a million dollars a year or something, you ain't getting a, a you know, you're not going to get a Lamborghini, okay? So make sure that they're realistic, you know. Okay, here we go. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that it is what you will experience. And always be care I always say be careful what you wish for. Make sure that if you are married or something that you're making sure that it is realistic. You would hate to, you know, have something horrible happen. Okay. And that is it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.